Hey gents, today we're going to dive into Hawkerty, another one of my most requested companies, if you haven't noticed the theme. And this is another one where I actually ordered this on January 3rd. It was shipped on the 12th and delivered on the 15th of January. So a very fast turnaround time. The the slowness in the process has been my own getting to the video, but I'm excited to dive into it today, try it out, talk about Hawker D as a company because I know you guys are highly interested. So we're gonna jump over to the unboxing in just a second. Make sure you subscribe to learn about the best menswear on the internet. Give a thumbs up for custom suits at affordable prices. And with that, let's dive in. Hockerty used to be Taylor for Less. They've rebranded and they seem to have done a complete overhaul of their entire front end. The website is extremely fluid. It's very easy to navigate and they have one of the best rendering engines of the made to measure companies that I've looked at. You have your choice between many different types of fabrics, wool, seersucker, tweeds. There are a lot of blends in there and you do get what you pay for. So you can pick the premium wools which are up in the $500 plus price point. I hesitated, went back and forth. I wanted to get something tweed. I wanted to get something possibly linen or cotton, but I wanted to start off with something that was one at the lowest price that I could get. When I did this video, there weren't any pure wools at this price point. So I picked the Bologna, which I believe is 269. It was 70% wool, 30% polyester. But now that I have this, I can also go to the higher tier because I am curious about the range of fabrics that they have from Hockerty. There isn't great information on the fabric, so even the premium wool, you don't know where it's from. It's likely all uh, sourced from Asia, and then all of the suits are made in either China or Vietnam. When any of these companies are using like Italian fabrics, they really boast about it. Something you see with Lignetti and Oliver Wicks, they really talk about the mills that they're coming from and giving you information on why you're paying the premium for those heritage mills. And going through that process, I can see why Hockerty has been so heavily requested. Not only can you get suits at that lower price point, but also the medium. They also offer things like trench coats, dress shirts, sports coats. They offer a ton of custom clothing, and I'm, I'm looking forward to trying to jump into as much as I can. When building the coat, they have tons of jacket options. They have lots of pants options. On the surface, it seems like they have tons of options, but one of the biggest ones that I want to do, especially when I'm doing custom, is I want to swap out the belt loops for side tabs and then put suspender buttons in the pants for traditional suspenders. You can't do that. The side tabs are now almost a standard in all my suits, and so that's one omission that I'd be hesitant in the future. They do have upcharges for different linings and button styles, which with some of the other companies, you see that that's included. What I've learned through this process is there really is no way to like beat the system. You're gonna get what you pay for with these. 15 day quota delivery, one of the fastest that I've seen in the made to measure space, especially in suiting. They have a fit guarantee, so they'll reimburse you up to 25% of the cost of the garment in order to get that taken to a tailor, which is a nice feature. They will do complete remakes, and so you can take it to a tailor, try and get it adjusted. If not, they will then do a complete remake. It's to their advantage because they want you as a long-term customer, and it's our advantage because then we're spending our money in a smart way. So even at the low price of 269, they'll still let you remake the suit in order to get the right fit so that then you can order from them in the future. So my suit was 269, it's the Bologna, it's black. I, I just did an article with Justin Jeffers over the Fine and Gent on why you don't need a black suit. I picked this one because I don't have a black suit and I've got all of the other colors that I need anyway, but check out that article, it's pretty cool. I'll link to that below. I also threw in a custom shirt because I wanted to see, you know, I already put in all my measurements, can they just make a shirt off base off of that as well? And so I got the Bologna black suit and then a custom shirt. I'm pretty sure I got a discount because I threw in the shirt at the checkout point. It doesn't reflect on my receipt that it shows at, but my total was 348 for the suit and the shirt together. Starting off with a shirt, it's a 100% cotton shirt with a very interesting texture. It almost reminds me of like, it has a linen feel to it. And you can see that it fits well. I got nice high armholes. I have a nice torso. It's really long. Maybe, you know, it's maybe slightly too long. If you look at that Charles Turret video I just did, those are super long as well, but I want something that's gonna be able to be tucked in. And so this is something where I could go back to them, say I need it you know, two inches shorter, and then my next shirt will be perfect. The sleeves fit really well. They end just after my wrist. And so that's reassuring as I'm gonna be putting the suit on. I would hope that if they nailed my arm length, they'd be able to then extrapolate what the sleeve length should be on the suit jacket. And so I'm digging the shirt. It was $79 based on my receipt, and that's not bad for a custom cotton shirt. I also look more into their shirt offerings, if they offer something plain white, uh, wrinkle-free, that type of thing. But so far, the fit, very good, and I'm digging the cotton as well. I'm probably gonna wear this on my uh, next trip right now. Because the box is so small that it ships in, the jacket is really crammed in there. You can see there were some creases on the suit. I did have to steam the shirt, I did have to steam the jacket, and you can see in the video a little bit, there are some creases in there that I had to work out. The jacket itself looks nice and modern. I put peak lapels on the jacket here, 
and you can see Hawk already made to measure. Speaking of the upcharges, usually I put my name in here, but there's like an upcharge for that type of thing versus it being standard in other jackets. Uh, so I didn't do that, or the custom felt, they'd charge you on that. Sometimes I'll change those. And it has a nice feel to it. You can definitely feel that it's a, a wool blend instead of it being something pure wool. But you can see fully lined on the inside. It feels like a half canvas. I'd be curious if it's fused or if it's half canvas. I couldn't find anything specifically on the website. But you can see from the try-on, they basically nailed it. I wouldn't normally pair brown shoes with the black suit, but these were the only ones I had when I was shooting the video. But I kind of like the high contrast of the whole cuts against the black. Having the shirt on under the suit pushes the sleeves down a little bit more, and so I can see that I would probably need to shorten the sleeves by you know, like two or three centimeters, not much, but enough that it's going to uh, bug me. The sleeve length on the jacket, however, is very good. The shirt does have a nice sturdy collar. You can see that it stands up well underneath. There are no collar stays in it, which isn't a breaking feature, but I wonder if some of the dress shirts would have that versus this, which is more of a casual shirt. The jacket also comes down nice and low below my butt. You guys had mentioned on my Ministry Supply suit that it was way too short. The shoulder length is a big one, fits very nicely. I have just a little bit of pooling on the top back of the shoulder that I usually have in my in the other suits. With all these companies, I've been choosing that I have more of a tapered shoulder in order to avoid that in the future. We do have working buttons on the cuff, which is something you don't usually see at this price point. The buttons themselves are like a plastic. The only other option I really saw on there is that you could do brass instead of the plastic, even in some of the more premium suits. And so that's another place, you know, like the side tab thing. That's another thing that I would like to upgrade on the buttons if I could. It feels sturdy and solid. It feels really good for a made to measure suit at this price. I'd be really curious to try out some of their higher end fabrics. Basically they nailed the construction and the fit on this. So now it's all about upgrading the fabrics. The pants have a nice slim fit with a little bit of drape so that I don't have too much bunching around my butt. I also did some cuffs on there because uh, I think that's coming back. I like that it has the rubberized waistband on the pants, which does help a little bit with keeping your shirt tucked in, but I'm still going to be wearing my shirt tail garters. One of the places I always feel cut corners in some of these garments is the pants, like the inner lining of the pants. This one feels pretty good. Overall, pretty impressed with Hockerty. So I will look forward to checking out some of their additional fabrics and offerings. If you guys are interested in that, let me know below. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Something like their trench coats. I think I saw polos on there. They have a lot of custom offerings and I do want to try them out because they have pretty good prices. Let me know any other questions you have about Hockerty that I can try and find out, or if you know some of the answers like the half canvas versus fused type of lining. You guys always put great information down in the comments, and I know other guys use that as a resource when they're looking up at this stuff. I can't answer everything, but I love to learn from you guys and vice versa, so keep that cycle going. I'll put links below and everything else to check them out. Looking forward to hearing from you guys anywhere you want to contact me. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. Go Aztecs. Yes, you should show that vascularity when suited and booted. Thank you for the compliment on my Charles Turret video. Yes, Nephrim, uh the channel. I started my channel as an unboxing channel, and I am now trying to shift unboxing reviews, and I'm now trying to shift to create more stuff for people who are subscribed because um, as of now, a lot of people see, learn about my channel through those videos, and I'm working on things, but I've got a lot of stuff like in the pipeline that I've been working on, and some of it has been very delayed, but I'm trying my best to get more roundups together, more um, like reviews, comparisons, that sort of thing. It just gets really easy to post those unboxings because I can shoot them, edit them, post them very quickly. The reviews take more time for research, editing, um, and, and getting all the products in, and they're more expensive because I, I buy most of the stuff on my channel, and uh, so... Working on that. Thank you for the feedback, and I hope to see you again soon.